Hello, hello, hello. What's the time? 20 to 1 on a Saturday. Maybe you're in the middle of making lunch or having lunch or preparing lunch. I've just um, gone for a sea swim in the rain. Um, and uh, it was a great release because I actually found myself vocalising how I felt you know, with some kind of strong, well, let's be honest, screaming, really, <laughs> just letting it all out. Uh, so I feel much, much better for doing that. OK, so here I am today to talk to you about something called vision boarding or making a vision board. And this is because yesterday I talked about my five step strategy um, for um, dealing with those in the moment cravings. You know, when, when, you know, that moment hits, you've been good all day, you've been doing really well, or maybe all week or maybe all month. And, uh, and that craving hits and you just want it. And it's not part of your 80-20. You haven't factored in, um, you know, your, your bowl of crisps, your glasses of wine, your bars of chocolate or whatever. And, uh, and you just want it. So yesterday I went into that explanation of how you can deal with that. So if you haven't seen my video and you really want to know how to manage your cravings in that moment when it hits, then um, do look at yesterday's video. Today, I really want to get into um, how it helps when you set a goal for yourself, like I want to lose weight, um, I want to feel better, I want to have more energy, um, and you have those kinds of goals, I want to be fitter. Um, it really helps to put them into the bigger picture. And what I mean by that is to just take a moment out, it doesn't have to be every day, it might, might be only once this year that you do it, or twice this year, or, you know, once is probably enough even, to dream a bigger dream. And it's really hard to do, and I've, I've been feeling it a lot just recently, when times are so uncertain, you know, when you can't plan anything, you can't plan a trip away, you can't, um, you can't plan anything at all right now. And, uh, and that's hard. It is really, really hard to stay motivated and sticking to your goals when, um, you know, when this is happening and, and when times are so uncertain and when we're stuck in a lockdown and restricted and stuck at home, we could really get down in the dumps, couldn't we? So what I wanted to do was to introduce you to this idea of vision board. And so I'm gonna turn the camera around in a minute to show you what it means. Um, and it's really an opportunity for you to um, imagine your future. So it is stepping out of the present for a moment. And I know we're always encouraged to stay very much in the present moment. And I do recommend that. But occasionally it's nice just to um, just to step out for a moment and, and, and look forward to the future. And to make a little bit of a plan or an idea of how you want to feel what you want to be doing. So let me give you some examples. So say, for example, you do want to lose weight, you want to be slimmer, you want to be fitter, you want to have more confidence and energy. So really ask yourself, what is that going to give me? You know, why do I really want that? You know, when I've lost that weight, you know, what, what's that going to be for me? What is it going to be like for me? You know, does it mean that I'm going to sign up to do try or try and start sea swimming with a load of people? Uh, does it mean I'm going to um, join a new social group? Does it mean that I'm going to plan a trip of a lifetime and climb Kilimanjaro or wear a bikini on holiday? Does it mean that I'm going to maybe go for that career promotion that I was a bit, you know, shy and lacking confidence to, to do so? Um, will having more energy mean that I will um, um, study something new, you know, a passion I've got, or change something that I've always loved doing, uh, like making or creating something, turn it into an actual business? Um, you know, what, what a, you know, it's looking at the bigger picture, isn't it? And it's really kind of dreaming a bit bigger than just, I just want to lose weight. Yes, you want to lose weight, probably because you want to feel better and look better. But just going beyond that, just to look at the bigger picture can be really, really helpful. So the way to do that, and I premise this with um, the kind of mood I was in earlier today, um, which is 
maybe you don't feel like you want to think about the future and think about nice things that you want to happen you know finding a life partner um um planning a holiday with your best girlfriends um those kinds of things because maybe they just seem so unlikely um maybe you just feel it's just not going to happen for you so what can happen is when you make a decision which i made which is I'm going to not let this lockdown get me down. I'm going to forward think into the future and just imagine if there was nothing stopping me, there was no pandemic, nothing happening at all, you know, how would I like my life to be like? And it's such a major time for us women, especially I'm 50, when you're going through the perimenopause, you're moving into, you're, you're into your third phase of life. Um, and... Uh, you know, it's a powerful time because you're kind of looking and seeing that, you know, hopefully you've got another 40 years left. We don't know. Um, but you kind of want to make the most of it, don't you? You don't want to just, you know, kind of be living living life day to day and, uh, and not living life to the full. But when you make a decision that you want to look beyond where your life is at now, it can bring up a lot of fears because you can think, yeah, I do want to do a different kind of job or I do want to meet my life partner or I do want this, I do want that. And it can bring up a lot of fears. You think, well, how is that possible? You know, I haven't, things haven't worked out for me in the past. Why would they necessarily work out now? So we can get a lot of fears come up. And if you really feel those fears uh, coming up and they're really sort of blocking you, then please honour that. And um, there's no rush to start doing vision boarding and start thinking about the future. But honour the fact you have those feels, but fears, but let yourself feel into them. Don't feel you have to listen to those fears. You know, you can hear them out, but um, they may just be a story, an old repetitive story that's going through your mind from past experiences. And maybe a belief in yourself that you don't deserve, you know, that, you know, you should be happy with what you've got. You know, we're here in Guernsey, we're much luckier than others. You know, you might have lots of voices in your head that are kind of making you not feel good about yourself. So this is really um, a good idea to, you know, um, be aware of, of, of when those blocks come up. And I had it quite strongly this morning. And I was really a little bit in the dumps and just thinking, gosh, you know, it's raining outside. There's, it's not, this is not easy. I'm locked down. I've only got my daughter at home, you know, it's, 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 it's a lonely business. Um, and, um, but I went for a sea swim and, uh, and I let it all out and I felt so much better. So there are ways that we can deal with our frustrations, but do reach out to somebody if you're feeling a bit down in the dumps. Anyway, let me get on. So vision boarding, what can you do? Let me turn around. I don't know if I can turn the camera around. Yeah, I might be able to. Okay, so if you look here, so what I did was I went out and got a few magazines, just chose whatever I like the look of. It does not matter if the subject isn't really your subject. And then I got, I had a piece of card already. And then what I do a lot of is I pick out words that I love. So can you see in with the new, a different perspective, fabulous space, serene dreams, and then starting to find a few pictures. And these are some of the dream boards I've done in, in years gone by. My kitten's been chewing at them, but it's, it's more the words that really strike me. But, you know, sometimes it's beautiful dresses and things like that. This is a uh, beautiful landscape. Um, you know, I really love that landscape, which really reminds me of Guernsey um, on the right track. And what you'll find is when you've made these dream boards is that you'll look at them sometimes and a word will stick out at you. Like sometimes, for example, I'd suddenly see this this phrase, take the lead. Um, or I'd see this word and like today I wanted to add mastery, not master, but mastery. So having mastery over your life. So all you do, I'll come back to turn it round to me. Okay, hang on, that's a nice view of the house, isn't it? Of the, of the garden. So, um, so all you do is you just go through these magazines and cut out whatever feels right to you and then just place it onto your vision board, um, whatever kind of pictures you want. And the other thing that's quite helpful is to go onto Pinterest and have a look at all their beautiful um, 
pictures and things um, and just create a vision board and start to vision how you want to life, your life to be. Maybe you want a picture of an exotic holiday retreat. Uh, maybe you want um, a picture of um, um, a woman in a beautiful dress or maybe walking down the aisle or um, two people in love or a beautiful sunset. Um, and like I say, for me, words and phrases mean so much because I'll just catch, um, they'll just catch my eye and uh, and give me faith. And it does kind of give you faith, you know, if you stick it on your um, fridge. Now, if you can't be bothered to do that, the other alternative is to imagine how you want to look and feel and maybe put a time frame on it. So maybe in a year's time, maybe in two years time, you know, where do you want to be? What do you want to be doing? You know, who do you want to become? And see if an image pops into your mind um, that kind of reminds you of that and then maybe you can stick it on the fridge and it will just give you a reminder. So when those cravings hit, when the motivation is really down and you're really struggling to stick on track with your goals, um, you can look at the bigger picture and remind yourself of why you're doing this. Do you want more energy so that you can play with your grandchildren um, or have better health to play with your own children, for example, or take them out and have more energy? Do you want more energy, like I said, so you can um, start building your own business or um, developing more friendships or having um, a more enjoyable social life? You know, whatever it is, add to it and you will find that it is so much easier to stick to your health goals when you have this um, bigger plan. So I hope that gives you a little bit of inspiration today. I know it's really not easy. This time of year is the hardest time of year for our systems. It's the lack of natural light, the constant grey dull weather. Um, you know, it's going to get us down. So do look at my other videos if you want inspiration around what is best to eat at this time of year. Lots of fruit and vegetables is a good hint because that will give you that trapped light and all the colours of the vegetables are very vibrant for the body and will give us all the antioxidants and nutrients we need. Um, so there is a lot you can do. If you don't feel like doing anything, um, it's also a good time to just sit and be still and be with the discomfort of whatever's coming up for you. Um, but as I always say in my videos, know that I'm here if you need any advice and support and put any um, messages in the chat if you need it. Um, but good luck. And if you do get round to making a lovely vision board, please send it to me and let me know what you think. I'll, I'll try and do this and then um, post it on my Facebook page so you can see how it looks in the end. But try to follow your intuition as to, you know, when the pictures and the words stand out to you and create something that makes you feel really good. It's good to speak to you, uh, good to chat with you today, sending you lots of love and lots of strength and courage to cope at this difficult time. Much love. Mwah.